Hello, welcome to Coding with Indy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a length select widget that looks like a tape measure. This would be great in your app where you have the user select a height or a length measurement. As usual, I will use Flutter Canvas and Custom Painter. It's quite easy and fun little project, so follow along. First, we start by creating a Flutter project and then we would put in the bare bones widget on the screen to get things wired up. So here we are cleaning up the auto-generated code so we can begin our work. Let's create a widget called tape measure widget that will contain all the functionality. Let's move it to a new file so that it's easier to find it. Let me make the font larger so you can see the code better. Now let's think about what this widget would have as an API. We would want to set an initial value, minimum value, maximum value, a step and a unit label. We would also want to know when the value is changed. I think this would be enough to start with. We would want to make these member variables, but we'll get to that later. Let's create a custom painter class and move the painter class to a different file. As you can see, I have Copilot running here and it's useful sometimes, but most times it gets in the way. What I need is to draw a rectangle with a background color. Let's make it orangish. A marvelous. Look at that majestic orange. But it's taking up the whole window, so we can easily wrap our widget, uh, widget in a size widget and give it some dimensions. That looks reasonable for now. Let's draw a frame around it, or maybe two. We need a bit of faffing about to get this right, but that should do it. We want to draw the markers, but before that we should get these parameters into the canvas. So let's wire them up. This is a bit tedious, but bear with me. And now let's draw the markers. Copilot me. <laughs> Copilot me. Could you possibly do me a favor and create these markers, please? Thank you. Be a later, okay? Oh, there it is. Let's run and find out. Well, that looks hideous. <laughs> we need to adjust a few things to make it pretty.
first we need big bars, small bars and middle bars. That would make it look like a tape measure. Okay, close. Um, it looks more like a tape measure now, but let's get the numbers inside. Ooh, nice, but it's spilling out of our rectangle. We must clip to the inner rectangle. That's better, much better. We also want to show the current value, after all this is a widget for selecting a value. So let's put that in the middle but lower part of the inner rectangle. bit of messing about to get this just right. We can have it display one decimal if you wish like this. We need a value indicator bar in the middle of the widget so the user can swipe left and right to set the value. Okay, let's give the red color so it's prominent. That would do. I gave the widget some parameters so that we can make sure it is drawing correctly. Now as you see, the indicator is pointing to the wrong value. We must offset the tape to fix that.
okay okay looking good now let's wire up the mouse for swiping gestures we will use horizontal drag update copilot suggests some nonsense but quickly moving past that let me explain what's happening here we want to keep the state of value which is set to the initial value and on the drag updates we update the value then our canvas simply draws that value on the screen i messed up the code here a bit but hope you can understand it if not leave a comment i'll get back to you Okay, so we can drag, but it goes over the edges. We must clip the boundaries. And there it is. Hope you learned something from this. I know I've been harsh on Copilot, but looking back, its suggestions were almost the right answer. Next time, I will try to get the co-pilot to do more by describing what I want in the comments. And uh, I have a few more ideas for Flutter widgets, but if you want to see something specific, let me know in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching and like and follow for more.